family steeped in racing tradition is the Mallion family and one of the rising stars of that family at the moment is Apprentice Caitlin. We caught up with her recently about her introduction into race riding and some of her dreams and aspirations as her career unfolds. Well, Caitlin, you're enjoying some great success at the moment so early in your career and uh, you've just outridden your claim of three kilos down to two now. Yeah, that's right. Um, I recently just out rode a double at Caulfield and out rode my um, three kilo claim, so down to two now and um, when I get to 50 winners and I'll go down to one and a half. How much are you enjoying what you're doing at the moment? You're riding a lot of winners everywhere for some of the key trainers here in Victoria and interstate as well. Um, your success must be uh, a really nice surprise to you. Yeah, that's right. I have to thank my family for that. Um, you know, mum and dad, they've looked after me all the way through my career. And, uh, you know, if I had gone to one of the bigger trainers, you know, I might not have been able to ride work for people that put me on. So um, I have them to thank for, you know, the success I'm getting at the moment. What does it feel to you to, uh, to ride for, uh, you know, the likes of Danny O'Brien, who's been a really good supporter of yours and so many other big trainers? Um, it must give you a, a great injection into your uh, your riding ability because uh, you're on the better horses. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, Dad, Mum and Dad moved to Flemington about um, just just under a year ago and it opened a lot of, lot of doors for me at Flemington um, with Danny O'Brien and John Sadler, um, who's been a great supporter of mine. So, um, no, um, I just, I've got my family to thank for everything they've done for me. The name Malian is uh, of no... Uh, no uh, foreignness to, uh, to racing fans around Australia. Obviously, yeah, you, t you, uh, you touch on your family, your dad, Brett, and uh, your grandfather, uh, a three-time Caulfield Cup winning rider, and Mick. Yeah, that's right. Um, Pop won three Caulfield Cups, and he was, you know, he was a legend in his own right. Um, never really got to the Melbourne, Melbourne Cups because he was always suspended in the, in the Caulfield Cup. But um, no, we're, my whole family's full of jockeys. My mum rode, she rode a winner at the Valley, and um, of course, Andrew, my brother, he, he rides, and, and my cousin, Jordan, so it's, it's in the blood. How much do you spend uh, time with each other talking about, you know, your riding and uh, and I suppose where each of you are heading with your careers? Yeah, look, we, we don't, you know, always talk about the riding. Um, you know, when we get home, we like to have a laugh and a joke about other stuff. But, um, you know, Andrew's a big help to me and, and you know, so is the rest of, rest of my family. So what about the immediate future now? What do you want to uh, achieve in the next sort of six, 12 months? Uh, I'd love to win the um, the apprentice title for the Metropolitan. So I'm, I'm leading that at the moment. So I just just a couple more months, and hopefully I can I can still hold that lead. And uh, was it always your career, like always going to be your your chosen career path to be a jockey, given the uh, the heritage and the Malian family? Yeah, it, it's um, since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a jockey. So um, it's a dream come true for me, really. And the old dog question, Caitlin, uh, which which is the race you want to win in your career? Uh, I'd love to follow in the footsteps of Pop and winning Caulfield Cup.